Hi, this is question number five from the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give the question a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. Now, um, we're told that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 2x take away 5 is equal to 0 are alpha and beta. We need to write down the values of alpha plus beta and the value of alpha beta. So hopefully um, you will have committed this to memory. Um, I'm not going to show where this comes from. Um, but alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a and alpha beta is equal to c over a okay where a b and c are the coefficients of a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero so um, using that information there we should hopefully uh, be able to find out what the values of alpha plus beta and the values of alpha beta are for part b um, we need to calculate the value of alpha squared plus beta squared so what we want to do is we want to rewrite alpha squared plus beta squared so it's in terms of the things that we know already which are alpha plus beta and alpha beta so we want to look to write it um, in the f in the form that includes alpha plus beta and alpha beta part c um, we want to find a quadratic equation that has these roots here so again what we want to do is we want to be able to work out for our new quadratic equation what the minus b over a is or the sum of the roots so these roots are added together and also the c over a which is the product of the roots or these roots multiplied together so if we add these roots together um, we want to try and get the the sum of the roots in a form that includes alpha plus beta alpha beta and alpha squared plus beta squared because those are the values that we already know and, and have worked out and, and we want to do a similar thing when we get the product of the roots if we can write it in for in the form of alpha plus beta alpha beta and alpha squared plus beta squared um, we know what the values are so we should be able to put those in once we've got that far we can then decide what the quadratic equation is going to be by working out what the values of a b and c are going to be okay so that's my hint if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at working out the answer for yourself okay well done if you managed to have a go i'm now going to go over the answers to the question so starting with part a okay we want to write down the values of alpha plus beta um, and alpha beta so um, alpha plus beta is minus b over a so in this case it's going to be minus 2 over 1 or minus 2 and alpha beta is going to be equal to c over a which is going to be minus 5 over 1 which is minus 5 and there you go that's part a done part b okay calculate the values of alpha squared plus beta squared so what we want to do is we want to write it in terms of things that we already know um, I, I actually will show you this quickly so um, so let's think about if I was going to write down that we've got alpha squared and beta squared that's what we want to be left with but if I consider alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta well, that will give me the alpha squared bit and will also give me an extra two terms which will be alpha beta and alpha beta here and then beta times beta is obviously beta squared so I could rewrite um, alpha squared plus beta squared which is this bit here show you what I mean okay so this bit here is what we want to be left with um, so I can write that by doing well I've got alpha plus beta squared okay so that's alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta alpha plus beta squared but that would give me alpha squared plus beta squared plus 2 alpha beta but I don't want the 2 alpha beta bit so I'm going to take away 2 alpha beta 
Okay, so um, what I should have said is that um, alpha squared plus beta squared is going to be equal to this here. Alpha plus beta squared, which is all of this squared, take away the 2 alpha beta bit, and that will leave us with this bit here. Um, the reason why I've done this is because now um, I know the value of alpha plus beta, and I know the value of alpha beta. So I can say that um, alpha squared plus beta squared is going to be equal to, well alpha plus beta is 4, sorry alpha pl plus beta squared is going to be 4, take away 2 times alpha beta which is going to be negative 10, so that's going to be plus 10 or 14. So alpha squared plus beta squared is going to be equal to 14. Part C says find a quadratic equation which has roots alpha cubed beta plus 1 and alpha beta cubed plus 1. So um, we want to come up with an equation um, that's going to be A, and I'll use a capital X, squared plus B X plus C is equal to 0. Okay, so this is going to have um, the roots to this are going to have this relationship here with our original equation. So, I um, by finding the sum of the roots, um, that will tell me what minus b over a is. So I'm going to start by saying, well, minus b over a is going to be equal to the sum of these roots. So alpha cubed beta plus one plus alpha beta cubed plus one and that will simplify to um, or the one and the one makes a two and I can um, factorize this bit here because I've got alpha beta as a common term so alpha beta and that would be alpha squared plus an alpha beta so that would have to be beta squared so this part gives me this bit and this bit and then I need to plus the two on to the end so this and this mean exactly the same thing now the reason why I've done that well I know the value of alpha beta because alpha beta um, is what we worked out earlier to be negative 5. I also know the value of alpha squared plus beta squared because we worked that out to be 14. So this is now going to be equal to, and I'll come over here, so um, minus b over a oops, is going to be equal to, well we've got alpha beta which is negative 5 times by 14 um, which gives me negative 70 plus 2 gives me negative 68 okay so um, so that means that b over a is going to be equal to 68 okay um, I'm now going to have a look at um, what the product of the roots are so when I multiply these together so that would obviously tell me what c over a is so c over a is going to be equal to alpha cubed beta plus 1 multiplied by alpha beta cubed plus 1 okay and if I multiply these out I've got alpha to the power of 4 beta to the power of 4 plus alpha cubed beta plus alpha beta cubed plus 1 so um, simplifying this well this is going to be alpha beta to the power of 4 okay and that's something we know over here um, plus and we've got alpha cubed beta um, plus alpha beta cubed so we can factorize this so we did something similar earlier um, where we said alpha beta is a common term and then in here we're going to have alpha squared plus beta squared 
plus 1. Now we know all these values because I know alpha beta is going to be negative 5 and negative 5 to the power of 4 um, gives me 625. I also um, over here can say well alpha beta is negative 5 and alpha squared plus beta squared is 14 so negative 5 times by 14 is um, negative 70 and then plus the 1 okay and um, if we work that out on our calculator um, that will give us 556 Okay, um, so I'll just move that out of the way. So, that means that um, B over A is 68 and C over A is 556. So I'm going to say, well, um, A, I'm going to choose to be equal to 1, which means B is going to be equal to 68. And C is going to be equal to... 556 which means my new equation is going to be um, x squared plus 68x plus 556 equals 0 um, and there you go ok um, hopefully you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.